Hey everyone, uh, Day Trader Rockstar here, back here with you. Um, we're doing some updates here on Friday. Uh, watching the market here, right across the board. S&P's down five, Dow's down 65, Nasdaq's down 12. But you can see the 200 period moving average and uh, some great signals. This is the type of uh, signals I like to see. A nice trend lines, nice uh, combination of indicators lining up. And what we had here earlier, I didn't really actually show you this, but you can see the top trend line here. And you could actually kind of put in a bottom trend line here and you can almost look at this as a wedge pattern when we take a look at a wedge pattern a measured move out of a wedge is you take that the beginning of that wedge you extend that this actually works as a one two three pattern um, you have the one two three pivots and you trade four and five basically you have the three pivot areas in here low tick alert you put the, your your trend line through this level and you put your parallel trend line down here, which gives you that measured move out of a breakdown. That's what you normally look for. You look for the, the range here. The wedge pattern tells us that we're going to get a breakdown to the other side. Now what we're seeing here, we're not over, so we don't have a tradeometer set up, but we are seeing a underlying trend line come into play here. And we do also have a dual uh, short-term stochastic setup. So normally I would look for a, a setup at this point. The markets has been negative overall. All right. Uh, and I'd rather get an HP, you know, I'd rather have the tradeometer set up. The key here is waiting for the combination of the convergence of indicators. One indicator is good, two is better, three is great, four is absolutely fantastic, and, and so on and so on. Um, in the case of, there's only one case I would say be caution on it if there's continued um, extreme uh, trending in the market, either selling or buying, things will get extended. Now we have some selling coming in and the market has been selling so we're seeing you know each each uh, little pop here is an opportunity to actually short into and it's right back down here right now let's watch how this plays out we got a dual stochastic setup which normally i love um and again you could see that right down here but i also want to get the multiple time frames all lined up and that's what the indicator pat's going to do for us and that's not setting up but it doesn't mean that this is not a good level this is a good short-term level, looking for a possible bounce here based off of just these three indicators. The, me you know, the measured move out of the wedge pattern, which is really just a, a one, two, three pattern. Um, the trend line and the dual stochastics on the one minute chart. Not a perfect setup, but something to pay attention to and something to actually do a little education on it as it's happening live with us. Um, everything else looking uh, pretty good. Market's acting you know, pretty good. We take a fast look at the that's Lululemon. I just did a chart on Lululemon, and I really do like that Lululemon going forward here. Here is the S&P. We had the initial bounce. We had a decent candle. Now we're pulling back into the candle. The 60-minute chart is oversold. Um, you know, the first levels, these levels being hit, give you reactionary bounces. Um, and that's what you want as a trader. You want to get those bounces. You want to get those movements. doesn't mean that you're going to, you know, buy here and save. You know, this is the low of the overall you know, market is only going to go back up to the highs. Now, these are areas of um, of interest, and these are the areas we want to trade off of. If it was this level or up here, but again, just marking off this level, we came down to it, got a very nice bounce from here to here. We recognized that this was a, a you know, a, a, a great indication up here for a sell-off, and we came back up to the trend line, and now we're back down to the trend line here. So, then the market's giving you opportunities here. So, I want to see how this plays out. Little lemon here. Going into next week, a little, a uh, little uh, present there for those that are not members. We're going to be concentrating on Lululemon a lot going into next week, and some other ones which uh, I'm working on the watch list right now. Um, and now uh, we're just about ready. We're getting closer to a dual, you know, a tradeometer setup. Let's see if we could bring that up on the screen live. And we're coming down right over here. We're going to be watching this one. Algo X here, just under two. We want to be con more concerned about that when it gets up to around five, six, and seven. So, let me move this over. You should hear it. There will be an audio alert here. Either way, we're just already getting the bounce right here. We got very close to having a dual stochastic 
um, and the uh, multiple time frames are all lining up against here. Like I said, this is a this is a good spot on its own. So a good spot on its own. Maybe I'll just send this out, let you guys play with this this area. I'll get back to my trading and my uh, charts. Like I said, we just sent out a Lululemon chart. It's great. And you hear those crickets. And those crickets, I don't know if you can hear those. But those crickets are uh, telling us we're going to get a nice bounce. And look at that bounce happen live here. Live here at uh, 11.51. Very important levels to watch. How to, how to recognize channels. How to recognize pivots. And how to recognize high probability entry zones. So, hope you enjoyed that little video. Working on a um, also uh, an updated video. Uh, you know doing this more and more during the day even though I'm on the air every day it's kind of a that's what I do each and every day but on Fridays I don't get to, um, you know I get to do the research get to do the trading so the videos will be pretty much coming out on those Fridays